on Central tonight. One of the country's most notorious killers is dead. Donald Nielsen, the man dubbed the Black Panther, was jailed for life for killing four people in the Midlands, including heiress Leslie Whittle in the mid-70s. It was a sad thing. It went on for many years and people will never, ever forget it. It's a sad thing. Also tonight, the Staffordshire MP sacked as a parliamentary aide after attending a stag party where guests were dressed as Nazis. But sitting there in a restaurant while people are chanting Hitler, Hitler, Hitler and toasting the Third Reich, I just think people would just not understand how you could possibly get yourself involved in a situation like that. Plus, heartbreak for the family whose home has been destroyed by fire just a week before Christmas. And in sport, Stoke go eighth in the Premier League after coming from behind to beat Wolves. Good evening. One of the country's most notorious murderers, the Black Panther, has died while serving his life sentence at the age of 75. In the 1970s, Donald Nielsen kidnapped and murdered a girl from Shropshire and shot dead three sub-postmasters. Nielsen was captured by two police officers in Nottinghamshire who he threatened with a sawn-off shotgun. Our correspondent Keith Wilkinson looks back now on the killings that shocked a nation. At the time, Britain's biggest manhunt, the search for the Black Panther. In 1975, hundreds of detectives from all over the country gathered in Dudley Town Hall to pool their information. How evil, how ruthless, how terribly wicked this man is that we've hunted for seven weeks. God above, I never dreamt in my wildest dreams he'd do such a thing to a girl. I'm okay, but there will be no sleep and no tricks, okay? What Donald Nielsen did was kidnap 17 year old Leslie Whittle from Highley in Shropshire and demand a ransom. It ended horrifically. Her body was found down a drainage shaft at Kidsgrove in Staffordshire, hanging from a wire. Today, the current owner of the house where she was kidnapped from gave her thoughts. He's just died and uh, that's the end of, hopefully, the end of it now. It was a sad thing and it went on for many years and people will never, ever forget it. It's a sad thing. And at Kidsgrove, locals haven't forgotten what happened here. The thought of that poor girl stuck down that man, she said, we'd probably walk past it. And How much of a shock was it? Well, it was. It was an awful shock. The Black Panther had already killed three other people in raids on post offices. Here at Langley in the Black Country, Sidney Grayland was shot dead and his wife Peggy battered with a pistol. It was the bravery of two police officers and members of the public near Mansfield in Nottinghamshire which brought Nielsen to justice. He threatened them with a sawn-off shotgun which went off. But they captured him. I said to him, well, what do you want me to do? What's going off, you know? And he says, grab his wrist. Because yeah. we got him on the floor and we yeah. were struggling yeah. like mad yeah. to, get, to get hold of him yeah, because we right. were overpowering him. Yeah. I was looking in his eyes and he, he, his eyes didn't look at me. They were partially closed and sort of shaking, if you like, as if they as if were mad because he couldn't do nothing. Nielsen, aged 75, died yesterday after being taken from prison to hospital with breathing difficulties. Three years ago, he'd failed to win an early release from jail, so he died, still serving his life sentence. Keith Wilkinson, Central Tonight. The parents of a young girl who was injured while at preschool say they're angry and upset. Katie Guttridge, who's three, suffered a black eye and bite marks to her face while attending the nursery at Ratby in Leicestershire. Ofsted say they're now conducting an investigation, but Katie's parents are demanding to know how it could have happened. Well, I should warn you that Phil Brewster's report contains images of Katie's injuries that some viewers might find upsetting. <laughs> 